We are back with the more beyond mankind. Last time I spent like an hour trying to figure out how to solve a code. I don't know where it is. So we're just going to give up. Just going to give up and continue. Maybe it's somewhere else because it's not in this room. So, man. let's sleep. Hope 279, wake up. Plans have changed. You are not going to leave the base via the traditional route. Oh boy. What's happening? Please check your terminal for details. As soon as possible, you must go to the elevator at the back of the shooting range. Your fellow <laughs> members left an hour ago, but were given orders to wait for you in the service tunnel. Uh, they left me, of course. So they left me. So, uh, check this out. Uh, number three. Changing training, incoming mission. Without preamble, I have bad news. This part of your training would usually have you leave the base, overcome a modest test of morale, survival skills, and travel to the ISS, where there would be an official welcome into the Brotherhood. Unfortunately, that will now have to wait. We have received an urgent request for help from a group of humans, survivors, more about them later, from the old tunnels under Avalon. They need immediate rescue, and your team is the closest to their position. Command is all too aware of the lack of preparation and resources available to you, great recruits. Just born of the techno room. I regret the situation, soldier, but this is hope. We know you will nevertheless make us proud. All right, let's get out of here. I won't be back. I'm gonna go eat. Goodbye. Elevator. Take me wherever. Leaving Hope Sector East. On to Avalon. Made it. So what's going on? You are at the southernmost exit of the base, an area from which tunnels extend below the old town of Avalon on the island of Santa Catalina. Uh, I remember it's a tourist city. Was. You must not confuse your memories with the current times. Your memories belong to the 21st century. Currently, Avalon is just ruins. Through the 21st century, Avalon grew into a tourist town in the vanguard of technological innovation. Uh, tell me more. In their moments of greatest splendor, the brightest minds turned the island of Santa Catalina into a sanctuary. But right now is not the time to entertain ourselves with history. In the tunnels, you will find an abandoned camp where an old diary was recovered. Since then, it has been revered and protected. By tradition, you should stop a few minutes and learn from the past. I guess this is goodbye, Hope 279. The moment you pass that gate, I will no longer be able to read you. Uh oh. Uh. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Hope 279. Let's go. Next, open your curve to level up. Completing quests and gaining experience will allow you to level up. With each new level, you earn 40 per points. Okay. Now let's do endurance. There we go. Okay. Got a new backpack. Flashlight? Nope. Now we do. Um, first aid kit, some food, some water, grenade, and some handgun. 
cartridges. We're good on that, though. All right, let's go. After this, we will no longer be able to communicate with Prometheus ever again. G is for grenade. R reload. I don't like that the flashlight is only available. As its own thing. I will switch it off. That's it. So we can't find anything with the flashlight out. Let's hope we don't run into anything in this dark cave. By the webs. Quite the introduction. I already quick saved. We can go down there. Let's see what's down there. Okay. There's some light in here. Crisis rationing, protests, finally war. This is, there isn't anything else in the news. The National Guard was mobilized as resources were depleted. Ill-equipped soldiers paraded through empty streets. Two weeks later, only a few returned. They arrived, vagabond, decimated, and shamed. Nuclear weapons detonate the biggest cities, and more will explode in retaliation, creating a curtain of shadowy dust over chastened earth. An eternal winter. I never thought humankind would end this way. Our blind faith in technology led us to believe that our species was immortal until a bastard branch of Homo sapiens emerged to rule over a ruined earth. Since I left Portland, I've been wandering south. The dangers are everywhere. Yesterday, I met another survivor, Pedro. He's a really nice guy. Being 60 years old, he must be the oldest person left on earth. Despite his snow white hair and cracked dark skin, he's still in shape. He worked as a forest ranger in El Dorado and now lives as a trapper. He's teaching me everything I need to survive. Okay. First experience from that. We'll pick it up in the next bit. Catch you then. <laughs>